What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. As some of you may or may not know, over the course of the past month, month and a half, two months, uh, your boy has been indulging a little bit. I'm not here to blame it on stress, I'm not here to blame it on a million things I have on my plate, I'm not here to do that. But I am here to tell you that uh, I'm back on track. And if you look behind me, you're gonna see a plethora of groceries, things that I employ to make sure I am staying on my diet and making results. I decided to pull everything out. We got the desserts, we got the lunches, we got the snacks, we got everything. So today I'm gonna show you guys all the staples I keep in my house when the goal is to be lean, mean, fighting machines. I don't think I said that right. Hopefully we ain't fighting machines anytime soon. Global warming isn't the greatest threat to our civilization, it's artificial intelligence. So if you guys are ready to get an epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Much like a leaf on a stone statue of Ron Jeremy, we have a lot to cover. So I'm just gonna hop right into this. First thing on the grocery list is a bag of romaine lettuce. Ever since my anabolic chicken Caesar salad video, I have been loving this meal. You get so much volume here, only 45 calories in a big bag. And let me tell you, if you're not someone that likes lettuce, do my little hack for anabolic salad dressing and it'll change your life. Not even kidding, you get so much dressing, it's not even funny and it's full of protein. It makes this salad incredible. Throw some chicken, throw some egg on there, some bacon, some croutons, you're gonna have yourself a feast. I also got some pre-cooked turkey bacon. We're gonna save on calories this way. It's already cooked, you don't gotta mess with it. You can just toss it on burgers, toss it in meals, whatever you wanna do with it, it's great. Speaking of protein sources, we got some egg beaters. This is basically the same macros as liquid egg whites, pure protein, except there's some chemicals in there. Not sure what to do to your long-term health, but it makes it feel and seem more like regular eggs. So if you're a texture person with egg whites, this is the way to go. And you already know if you got egg whites or egg beaters, get yourself some low calorie plain white bread, make some French toast, make you a Sammy. It's not the carbs or the bread breads that are making us fat, it's the calories. Just don't overeat those calories, get the better versions, you're gonna be fine. Same thing with buns. I love these potato rolls, 130 calories a bun, perfect for a sandwich. I mean, I just put out that anabolic, animal style, double-double recipe, my favorite burger I've ever made. Using one of these is gonna cut way down on calories. If I were you guys, one of the best tips I can give you is learn to read these labels. You only gotta really do it a couple times at your store and you'll find the brands that work best in your diet. I always say it's not about giving up the foods we love, you just gotta make those better choices. Go home at nine o'clock to see your kids or be out till 2.30 and gamble away your life savings. You know what I mean? One of them is a better choice. <laughs> Moving into some sauces. Now, let me tell you something. I do a lot of anabolic meals on this channel where eating pieces, things like that, which are great. But sometimes you are uh, gotta make something quick and you might just be able to fry up some chicken and some veggies real fast. And when you do that, your sauces are what's gonna save you. So when it comes to sauces, my all-time favorite is that G Hughes Sweet and Spicy. These are all sugar-free and literally to me, this tastes just like barbecue sauce. And plus, G can't miss. They have a ton of different versions of this, but this is the only one I buy. The Sweet and Spicy is so freaking good. We have some fat-free Thousand Island dressing. We also got some fat-free mayo. And the way I describe it, right, people are like, fat-free stuff ain't good. But I think about it the same way I think about diet soda. The first few times you have it, you're like, something's off here. But on like day four or five, you're like, this is just what I drink now. I don't care if I'm starting to grow a second nose out of my rear end from the chemicals. It's making me lean. We also got some sugar-free strawberry preserves. This is great. You can throw it in with your oatmeal, put it on your French toast. There's lots of fiber in here. 80% fewer calories than regular jam. It's a no-brainer. We also got sriracha, and you can see how much I use this, man. We got that much left. Great way to spice up a dish, and a lot of times what I'll do is do like a lot of the Barbie, and then a little bit of this. It's a great mix. And then moving back into here, I got a big old canister of them horse eat oats. And to be honest, one of these canisters lasts me quite a long time. The only time I'm really using oats is in certain recipes, or like my anabolic power oatmeal, things like that. I'm never just making oats and eating them. I'm just not, that's just not what I'm doing. If I was a horse and I lived on a sprawling, expansive pasture, maybe I'd eat more oats, but you know, that, that'll do me. And how could I forget that sugar-free Mrs. Buttersworth. If this was a real person, I'd marry her. Not just because it tastes good, I just know that that Miss Buttersworth fortune has to be at least 10 million. Arrange an untimely slip and uh, your boy never has to do a YouTube video again. I'm kidding, I would just upgrade the kitchen. Maybe get Logan a Brazilian butt lift. I don't know what I'd do with that money. Next up, we got some whey protein powder. And I always preach this, but I really don't ever drink a protein shake. It's just not something I do. But whey is an ingredient in a lot of my anabolic dessert recipes. The ones on the channel, ones in the cookbook, you know. So we're making cookies, 
cookies or a pizuki, skillet cookie, anabolic ice cream, Reese's peanut butter, you know, whatever I'm doing, you gotta have some whey. And we also got some coconut flour. Once again, I'm not just taking a spoon and eating coconut flour, I'm not doing that. But it's a, a recipe ingredient, man. So I always have some of this on deck. Lots of fever in there. The more fever, the more full. Then we got some Mio right here, liquid water enhancer. Honestly, a lot of the time I'm putting BCAAs in my water. It just makes my whole gallon taste better. Actually, hold up. Here's my sweet Southern gal right here. I fill it up every morning and I have to at least get through this on the day. So normally if I'm doing the whole thing, ranch chain aminos, baby, that sour moon rock. But if it's just like a quick water bottle I'm out and about, this is great. Or if you're out and about and you're uh, having some alcohol, responsibly, of course, then what you can do if you want like the lowest calorie drink you can get is just get like a vodka soda water, right? You put this in your pocket, you spritz a little bit of that in there, you're not even gonna taste the alcohol and your inhibitions will definitely be lower, but you're gonna be lean at the same time. You might meet a future wife. And if you get pulled over on the drive home, all you gotta do is show the officer that you got a meal in your pocket. He's gonna let you off with a slap on the wrist. I might've just cut a great part of this video out and I hate to do it. We also got some tortillas. Happy tortilla day to you. This is a low carb, high fiber tortilla. One gram of fat, 15 grams of carbs, five grams of protein, 11 grams of insoluble fiber, so only 45 calories a tortilla. Pretty good if I must say so myself. And then you also gotta have them big burrito tortillas. What are you stuffing in that big bag? These are great if I'm doing like a large tortilla pizza, or if I'm doing like any of my bigger like burritos, the meal prep ones, anything like that. These are great. You just gotta look at the label, find the one with the lowest calories. As far as I know, they don't make a high fiber big version. Maybe that's an idea for a young entrepreneur out there. Make a big one of these and I'll sign over everything to you. We also got some Lily's no sugar added dark chocolate baking chips. Once again, I'm not just eating out of this unless it's one of those nights where things take a rough and a tumble, you know what I mean? But for the most part, it's just an ingredient in anything that needs chocolate chips. Anabolic chocolate chip cookies, some of the power oatmeal recipes, pizookies, need to melt a little chocolate, that's my favorite brand. And then finally, when it comes to sweetening things up, you know, giving them a little sweetness, we always gotta have some zero calorie sweetener on deck, man. I got this Kroger brand sucralose. Um, whatever grocery store I'm at, I just always buy a big bag of it because you're always using it. Moving down the marble slab, we are gonna go right into our pizza crusts. I love pizza crusts that are already pre-made. So all you gotta do is toss your toppings on there, like some fat-free mozzarella, which by the way, slept on as a protein source. Each serving is only two grams of carbs, nine grams of protein, zero fat, 45 calories. Come on, people. And some turkey pepperoni. I forgot what regular pepperoni tastes like. This stuff to me tastes about the exact same with way less calories, more protein, better choice. So having these pizza crusts is great whether you're making an individual or you're doing an XL bad boy for daddy. Either way, this makes the whole process way simpler. But for those of you that are fans of the anabolic kitchen and whipping stuff up, in Tupperware, I normally have a dough waiting. These are great when you want that authentic dough experience. You have a little bit of time to put it all together, let it rise, you know, that old chestnut. So whichever way you slice it, we're pretty pizza covered around these parts. You already know, we have Anna bars on deck, man. We are currently sold out of these top two flavors. Restock should be coming very soon. Follow me on social media if you want the deets. But really, uh, in my opinion, Anna bar is just the best tasting protein bar. It tastes less like a protein bar and more like a dessert. So if you have a problem with eating an entire box of protein bars in one sitting, maybe you need to stick to something that tastes like dirt. But if you have a little bit of self-control and you want your protein bars to taste like a gourmet dessert at a restaurant, then maybe give Anna bars a try. Finalbosswomans.com, code RGF10, you already know. And if you're a fan of tortilla chips, I apologize, because they're really good and really bad for you. That's a slippery slope, I've been there. A little bit of queso, a little bit of salsa, it's a downward spiral, and that's usually the appetizer. It's not good. But if you want a better alternative, you can always buy baked tostadas. Way less calories, got that same crunch, and they're not deep fried, so way less fat. You already know. Got a big cylinder there, big girthy boy. And then tucked away behind this, we got instant pancake mix, the regular version, and we got Funfetti instant pancake mix. Now, you guys already know on this channel, big fan of breakfast foods, and especially like anabolic chocolate chip waffles, anabolic Funfetti pancakes. If you've never made any of my recipes before, you gotta get you a little bit of this. Follow my chocolate chip pancake waffle recipe, and it's gonna change your life. You'll see what all the hype's about. But these are great. Little bit of this mixed with the other stuff in those recipes, eating like a king. You already know, we got some Orville Redenbacher Smart Pop Popcorn. Shout out to Dr. Greg for putting me onto this. It's literally the best microwave popcorn bag you can get. Super high volume, put some seasonings on there with it, and it's good, man. It'll keep you full, something to snack on. And for protons, we got ourselves a big old pack of chicken breast. I'm eating quite a bit of chicken. It's super lean, just pure protein. I don't really think anything other than egg whites is more anabolic. Works great for anabolic crispy chicken, boneless wings, anabolic chicken littles. There's so many chicken recipes on this channel, it's insane. So if you got you some chicken, you're already halfway there. Another great source of protein, but the flavor's lacking, is 99% extra lean ground turkey. Really, this stuff for me, I don't do many recipes 
issues with it because it's just so bland. But what it is good for is if you're in a pinch, you just need some protein, throw this in your skillet, fry it up. This entire cylinder has 112 grams of protein. If you don't mind chewing on the insole of a shoe, that ain't too bad. And one of my other favorite sources of protein, pop to top, has gotta be 96% lean ground beef. It's got a little bit of fat in it, but not near as much as regular ground beef. Loads of protein, and once again, if you just want a better tasting meal and you don't mind those few extra calories than the turkey, stuff's great. Then I also have, as far as veggies go, really my big thing, once again, is uh, time sometimes. If I just wanna throw some stuff together and run out the door, having some zucchini on deck is great. High volume, low calorie, low carb, helps fill that stomach up and uh, pairs well with 96% lean ground beef, I must say so myself. And we also got some PB Fit powder, great way to add protein and flavor to certain recipes, oatmeals, whatever you're trying to do. We got some more real bacon pieces right here, great on that anabolic chicken salad. Got some extra thin Swiss cheese, great for sandwiches, although the macros could be a little better. I try not to go too overboard on this, but this is about as good as you're going to get. And then finally, I do a lot of hibachi cauliflower fried rice, Asian inspired dishes, and having some low sodium soy sauce is never a bad idea. And now let's go over some of the frozen stuff. What I love to keep on deck is cauliflower rice. High volume, this stuff is great. I, I always talk about it, I do my hibachi cauliflower fried rice. It is such a superb recipe. And once you make this stuff, it literally has the same texture, consistency as rice. So it tricks your brain, you're getting less carbs, less calories, keeping that volume up. Love this. We always have some frozen bloobs and frozen strawberries on deck. Both of these are great in anabolic desserts. Put some on your French toast, your waffles. Really, you can throw this fruit in anywhere and it's gonna be fantastic. Satisfy that sweets craving, give you a little bit of fiber, you already know. And then now for the really fun stuff. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a warning right here. Some people have issues with foods like this because they can be trigger foods. I always preach accountability. If you're on a diet, all you need to worry about is in your protein goal every day and your calorie goal every day. If certain things can help you get that craving out of your head, right, and you don't feel like you're lacking, then I think it's a net positive as long as you don't eat all of them. So first thing, I love these skinny cow ice cream sandwiches. Only 130 calories a piece, two fat, 27 carb, three fiber, four protein. This is great if you got a sweet tooth. If you want even less calories, these enlightened sea salt caramel bars are freaking incredible as well. It's like a popsicle with loads of flavor. If you want even less calories than that, these 70 calorie enlightened fudge bars are great too. And if you got a little extra calories and you're craving a Ben and Jerry's, but you don't want to eat 1200 calories of sugar and all that, then you can always grab one of these enlightened pints of ice cream. Out of all the quote unquote healthy ice creams I've ever eaten, as far as convenience and everything, these are my favorite. Caramel fudge pretzel and the brownies and cookie dough, you really can't go wrong. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this grocery haul. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this, it's that you shouldn't overthink this entire process. No foods are inherently good or bad. Some foods, yes might be a trigger food for you. I've been there, I've done that. But at the end of the day, as long as you're hitting your protein goal and your calorie goal, your results will come no matter what. You gotta be honest with yourself and be accountable. Eat foods you enjoy and uh, this process really is not that difficult. The hardest part is just getting your mind right. And if you need help with meal planning or you wanna eat some fancy high protein recipes that are gonna make your diet fun and interesting, then check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. All the recipes on this channel are broken down in an easy to use guide that fits right in your pocket. When I'm following this and I'm uh, basically preaching exactly what I told you guys, my weight just falls off and I love what I'm doing. And that's real talk. So hey, link down below if you want to check it out. You get it once. You get every future SBI app for free. You already know what the deal is. Thank you guys as always. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment down below what you want to see me make. Hit that subscription button. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will teach every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Yeah. Now it's time for bar.